Yorktown. The Yorktown missions. Fantastic job in getting any signal out of there at all with all that interference. And we do hope to, of course, have the pictures of uh, Apollo 8 astronauts when they get back aboard the Yorktown sometime, presumably in the next half hour or 45 minutes. Paul Haney has reported that they are in what is called stable one condition. That means that their nose is uh, out of the water, up in the air. They have not had to use the flotation bags. He also reports that the crew condition is okay. Uh, there will be a 20 to 25 minute wait for the pickup uh, by the frogmen dropping from the helicopters uh, for safety reasons until the first light gives them a little help out there. CBS News color coverage of the flight of Apollo 8 will continue in a moment after this pause for station identification. The flight of Apollo 8 continues in just a moment. This is CBS. It may be that there's a temporary uh, loss of visibility because of one of the been telling us and uh, so monotonous we will shout visibility should be 10 miles but uh, now carriers uh, loudspeaker system says that the space trap is visible on the fourth side and I'm sure it is it's just that from my position I can't see it we would expect that within 35 minutes, perhaps less than that, the uh, swimmers will be dropping to the uh, surface of the ocean. They'll be attaching the flotation collar and uh, around the spacecraft to, to keep it stable from sinking, of course. And uh, after that, two or six-man rubber life rafts will be dropped to them. Then the hatch will be uh, opened, and the astronauts will emerge from the spacecraft and uh, clamor over the flotation collar into the light. To them. Get to them, and uh, then they will be lifted up into the helicopter. Uh, we understand that uh, conditions are satisfactory with the command, command module, and the strobe light is visible from the bridge of the Yorktown. The strobe light is that very bright, pulsating light, uh, which can be seen probably 10 miles, 10 more, 10 miles or so. One thing which causes that breakup in our transmission from the Yorktown is the radar aboard the Yorktown. No Electronic. Uh, our technicians uh, have done a fantastic job in getting any signal out of there at all with all that interference and we do hope to of course have the pictures of the uh, Apollo 8 astronauts when they get back aboard the Yorktown sometime presumably in the next half hour or 45 minutes. Paul Haney has reported that they are in what is called stable one condition. That means that their nose is uh, out of the water, up in the air. They have not had to use the flotation bags. He also reports that the crew condition is okay. Uh, there will be a 20 to 25 minute wait for the pickup uh, by the frogmen dropping from the helicopters uh, for safety reasons until the first light gives them a little help out there. CBS News color coverage of the flight of Apollo 8 will continue in a moment after this pause for station identification. The flight of Apollo 8 continues in just a moment. This is CBS. Apollo 8 coverage is being brought to you by Western Electric, manufacturing and supply unit of the Bell System, as part of their continuing coverage of important news events. Western Electric, we make Bell telephones and equipment that connects them. CBS News color coverage of the flight of Apollo 8 continues. Here is Walter Cronkite. 
And out in the Pacific, the flight of Apollo 8 has come to a successful conclusion. It has landed uh, almost on its impact point after its 570,000 mile trip to the moon and back, taking man to the moon for his first close-up view. Here is Dallas Townsend on the York Town. Ron Nesson, can you hear me up there on the 07 level? Well, I'm not up on the 07 level, Dallas, but I can hear you. These, uh, the, the two groups that are involved mostly in picking up the astronauts now that they are down and safe are both veterans of Vietnam, and as a matter of fact, some of the techniques they're using this morning to pick up the astronauts are the same techniques they used in Vietnam to pick up uh, flyers which were shot down. Uh, the helicopter uh, the helicopters in this morning's operation are from Helicopter Squadron 4, and uh, during their service on this aircraft carrier off North Vietnam, they picked up 24 flyers who had been shot down. The uh, frogmen belong to the under demoli underwater demolition team number 12, and they also saw service in Vietnam. There is a certain uh, danger involved uh, at this stage in the recovery, uh, although the astronauts are down and say that everything is A-OK. -okay. It's because of this danger that the decision was made to let the astronauts stay in their spacecraft during this uh, half hour or 40 minutes between uh, their splashdown in the ocean close to the Yorktown and the time when the first rays of sun will be coming over the horizon here in the Central Pacific. Uh, if the men, if the astronauts uh, don't get seasick during this next half hour, the plan is for them to remain in the, uh, in the spacecraft uh, until it's light enough for the frogmen to see what they're doing. Uh, the danger is this, the uh, spacecraft uh, may still have in it some of the very exotic fuel used to fire the ten little maneuvering engines around it. Now, if any of this exotic fuel is leaking out, and it has leaked out on other spacecraft in the past, uh, it can burn the skin, it can uh, burn or irritate the eyes, and it can uh, inflame the lungs. So space officials uh, want to be sure it's light enough for the frogmen to see what they're doing and see if there's... Well, we lost our picture and our audio report from Ron Nesson aboard the Yorktown. Uh, at the moment, we'll have it back uh, shortly. We hope that we are certainly going to have good pictures for you when Borman, Lovell, and Anders set foot on the Yorktown. The time uh, situation out there regarding uh, dawn and the first light, uh, it was, it's 4.51, it was local time at splashdown. That was uh, about, oh, what, 12 minutes ago now. The effective first light is 5.32 out there, or 25, 26 minutes from now. Uh, that would be the time then when the, uh, when the, uh, frogmen would jump from the helicopters for the rescue effort. That was the effective first light as of yesterday in a uh, one of the ten trial runs the Yorktown has made at uh, recovery, preparing and uh, exercising for this operation. So if the first light today is the same as yesterday, 26 minutes yet before recovery. Uh, however, the cloud cover, of course, could affect that first light this morning, and they did not tell us what the cloud cover was yesterday when they had the first light at 5.32 local time. There is a six-hour time difference between uh, the, that uh, southwestern, uh, that point southwest of Honolulu in the Pacific and uh, our time in the eastern time zone of the United States. The recovery Chopper number three is over the spacecraft, uh, we have been told now, and at this point it is 6,000 yards from the Yorktown, just about three miles from the Yorktown at this point. The land was tremendous. The uh, soon be illuminated with uh, the searchlight from one of the recovery helicopters, and we now understand that recovery three has the uh, command module in sight and is illuminating the spacecraft. Recovery three, shall I go? Well, those intermittent reports via ATS-1, the satellite over the Pacific, which is uh, relaying the reports from the Yorktown to us viewers here in the United States. And some mighty happy viewers, we assume, in Houston, Texas, where the families of the astronauts must be celebrating at this moment 
the wife and five children of young Bill Anders, the youngest man on the flight at 35, the only man making his first flight, the four children of uh, Jim Lovell making his third flight, who now has racked up far more time than any other spaceman, and I believe at this point more time than all of the Soviet cosmonauts combined. Uh, and Jim Borman making his second flight as the command pilot on this mission with two children. Uh, their wives and children all must be celebrating at this moment in Houston, Texas. It's now a little after 10 o'clock there. And mission control, certainly, of the celebration is already on. The cigars have been lighted for the safe landing. They will wait, of course, and for the real celebration until the uh, astronauts are back aboard the Yorktown. Let's listen to Paul Haney. <laughs> 